Hi third graders, so today I'm going to walk you through how to complete your music assignment. You've already been to this assignment page that I'm on right now because this is how you found the video. When you're finished with this video, you're going to go back to this assignment page and follow these directions, or you can hit pause throughout this video and complete it with me. So here on this page, we see that it's today's music class. We're supposed to watch the video. You already found that. Then we're going to open the Google Slides presentation and follow the directions to complete the work on each slide. Then we get to play a game about the instruments of the orchestra, and we'll go through how to figure out how to do all of those things in this video. So on this main assignment page, we come over to where it says your work, and we click on your name. If you hit the X by mistake, that's okay. It will come up and it will ask you, it'll tell you that it was removed, and all you have to do is click on make a copy to fix that mistake. But the best thing to do is just click on your name and not the X to begin with, because sometimes this takes a little while for it to process and come up with the new document. But there we are. We have the back, our work is back, and we can just click on our name there. And it will open us up into a new page where we can now see today's music assignment. This is all being done through a program called Google Slides, and I'll walk you through how to do each little bit. It might take a little while for it to open up because there's a lot of pictures and words in here, so we want to make sure that we give it the time that it needs. This assignment today has all to do with the instruments of the orchestra that we learned about in music class in the music room back at East End School. Those were some good times. <laughs> All right, so as it's loading up here, I can see on my screen that on the left-hand side are all of the different pages of what I need to be doing today. And then here I can see the first page and where that is. So now if I click on the second slide, right over here on this left-hand side, all I did was click on this second slide. And I read the directions and it says click and drag three string instruments into the blue circle. So that's what you have to do. You have to look at these images, these pictures over here, and figure out which one of these are a string instrument. Well, we all know the harp is, so let's grab that harp. We click down on the harp, and then we just pull over with our mouse, dragging it into the blue circle. And I'm not going to give you all of the answers here. You need to know what your three string instruments are. So you find the other two wherever they are and you drag them into the blue circle. This is how I'll check your work later to see and make sure that you know what the string instruments are in those pictures. Once I've put all three instruments into that blue circle, I can move on to slide number three. I can get to the different slides either by clicking over here on the left hand side or I can use my mouse to scroll up and down. Either way works. This slide says I need to click and drag one sentence to the true box and one sentence to the false box. So there's two facts here and I need to decide which one is true and which is false. So this one says you buzz your lips to create vibrations on a string instrument. And this one over here says you can play a string instrument by plucking, strumming, or bowing. So I need to decide which is which. If I think that the string instrument by plucking, strumming, or bowing is true, then I click on that box and I drag it into the true box here. And then I could do the same thing with the other one if I think that's false. If I think they're both true, it says up here, it actually I'm supposed to just drag one sentence to the true box. So because I read the directions, I know that one has to be true and one has to be false. They're not both going to be true or both being false. But both of them need to be dragged into each box. And again, I'm not going to give you any of the answers. On the next slide, I'm doing the same click and drag the, of the instruments into the blue circle, but this time it's three woodwind instruments. And then after that, you guessed it, the next thing I need to do is bring in facts about the vibrations and the woodwind instruments and how they make their sounds. So is it a reed on a clarinet that creates the vibrations, or is it a woodwind instrument that is played by plucking, bowing, or strumming? I drag one of those facts into true and one of them into false. Now, it reminds me not to forget to click turn in on today's assignment in Google Classroom. And if I move myself out of the way a little bit over here, it shows you when it says your work and then it will have the Google Slides presentation in here and you need to click on that turn in button. And then there's also a place here to play a game about the instruments of the orchestra. So for, for, before I forget to turn in, I wanna show Miss Valentine that I did this work. I'm going to come up over here and go back to my assignment tab on Google Classroom. And now I need to move my face out of the way again. 
And so here's my work. I don't need to worry about saving it or anything. It all automatically happens with Google. I can just click the turn in button. It asks me if I'm sure. I am. I finished that music work. I dragged everything into the boxes where I thought it was going to be. So I hit turn in. And now I can go back to the presentation to be able to play the game. So I click back into the presentation. It tells me my access has expired. That's because I turned it in. It's not going to let me change anything with this assignment. I already passed my worksheet into my teacher. That's okay, I can just click out of the X here. That's good, that's what I want. My teacher has access to this now. And then I can click here to play the game about the instruments of the orchestra. And that brings up this little white box down here and I can click on that link. And that opens up a new tab. Now that I'm into the game, I can actually click at this X up here where it says has my music assignment for the day. I don't need that anymore. I already passed it in. And in this game, we're going to be listening to the sounds of instruments of the orchestra, kind of like when we played Name That Instrument in music class. So we click once to get into the game, and there's directions. Now this is a lot of directions. You do not need to read all of these because I've already read them, and I'm just going to talk you through how we do it today. So I'm going to click again to get into the pictures here. And now it says, which instrument? Click on the iPod click on the instrument. So which instrument do you hear? Get it right and watch me cheer. I can click on the iPod and then listen to the sound that comes out. Now I hear that nice airy sound that almost sounds like a whistle and I know it's the flute. So I click on the flute down here. And the monster does his little dance because I got it right. Then I can come over here to this arrow that will take me to the next page. If at any point I want to review the instruments of the orchestra because I'm not quite sure what I'm hearing, there's a black review button up here that I can click on and it will take me to a page that has all of the different instruments that are used in this presentation. Some are new, we haven't learned about them before, and some of them are ones that we are very familiar with. Then I would just click back to the slide underneath. So I was on slide two. But here I can click on any instrument and hear the used in the slide. And then once I've heard what I needed to hear, I can go back to the slide where I was. I was on slide two. And then I can complete this one, just clicking that iPod and doing each one. So I hope you have fun with this. You don't need to play through the whole game today. You will also be able to play this game again next week. I hope you have a good time, and I miss you all.